जनरल मैटर की डिक्टेशन है स्टार्ट करते हैं स्टार्ट दी प्रोवर्व एज यू सो सो शेल यू री एज्यूम्स सिग्निफिकेंस इन द लाइट ऑफ कर्मा इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस प्रोवर्व इन अ बेटर वे लेट्स कंसिडर एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ फार्मर हु सोज द सीड्स प्लफ्स द फिल्ड एंड वाटर्स इट रेगुलरली इन ऑर्डर टू गेट अ गुड हार्वेस्ट जस्ट इन केस ही फेल्स टू टेक केयर ऑफ द सीड्स एट एनी स्टेज he may not get the desired results this is what holds true in the case of human life also our actions do reciprocate in short it means that we have to bear the consequences of our actions it is our present that shapes our future the theory of karma is spoken about in many of the sacred and religious texts and so is implicitly explained in this proverb the good one does to others definitely comes back to him it may take some time to get the results but life has a full circle when one sees negative people progressing and succeeding in life many tend to question the validity of this theory but this is the trickiest part about the karma that one fails to understand when it comes into the picture it is inescapable in fact many of the sacred texts strongly advocate the fact that karma is not restricted to a single lifetime the cycle goes over multiple lifetimes one needs to balance the karmic debt with good actions and gestures somebody else action should not be the deciding factor of our reaction this will add on to our negative deeds if we leave aside the concept of karma then also one should behave in a manner in which he expects the others to behave with him nobody likes to be ill treated the proverb holds significance in our daily life as well a hard working and sincere child performs well in the academics while a well behaved and polite individual is revered by his fellows a rude and impolite person isn't considered worthy of any shot of respect youth is the golden period in one's life in case one sows the seeds of idleness and bad habits life is bound to be miserable and full of hardships but the seeds of hard work patience and perseverance definitely bear sweet fruit we are the architects of our destiny and can either make 
or mere our destiny as human beings our duty is to work hard towards the 